bringing the attention to the inhalation as it enters through the nostrils, travels down the throat. Feel the expansion of that breath as it enters the body. And as we exhale, feel that sweet surrender. And just for a few moments, let the breath be the focus. Notice where you feel the breath entering the body, tip of the nostrils. Can you feel it travel down the throat, into the lungs, the heart lifts, the ribs expand. And can you follow that inhalation as it makes its turn and becomes an exhalation back out? And let this breath be like a beautiful wave cascading through the body, bringing our prana, our life force with every inhalation. And as we exhale, let that exhalation be a release of your day. And begin to relax the shoulders, relax the chin a little closer to the chest, stretching out the back of the neck, check in with the little corners of the eyes and the jaw, and scan the body and see if you're clenching anywhere else. And with every exhale, can you begin to soften, right? Releasing what we do not need to hold. And with every inhale, can we press the hips into the mat and start to lengthen the spine, growing a little bit taller. So finding that place between effort and ease, right? The inhalation lengthens. And as we exhale, the shoulders relax, the belly relaxes, the face. And we'll take three more breaths from the belly to the ribs all the way up to the heart. And exhaling completely at the end of the exhalation, squeeze the navel towards the spine, just getting rid of all that stale air. I'm gonna do that two more times. And tonight we'll play a little bit with our box breath. We haven't done that since the beginning of these classes, right? So on the next inhalation, imagine that you're drawing the breath up the left side of the body. And then holding, imagining the breath moving from the left side to the right. And as we exhale, imagine that breath traveling down the right side of the body at the bottom of the exhalation, hold the breath out and imagine the breath moves from right to left, drawing a little box in your mind and then inhale up the left side, pausing at the top of the inhalation, feeling the body full of breath, moving from left to right and then exhaling down the right. So this is all in our imagination, holding the breath out at the bottom of that exhalation, noticing how the body feels empty of breath as the breath moves from the right side to the left. And now following your breath pattern, Imagining that box, breathing up, right? imagining there's a light with that breath so you can see. And if this just doesn't make sense, stay with that three-part Diga breath. But as we begin to control the breath, lengthening the inhalation, holding the body full of breath, not to the point where we're struggling, just to the point where you feel that need to release and releasing when the body needs that and then holding the breath out at the bottom. Keeping the attention on the breath, creating this little box in our mind, begins to settle the mind down. And then take one more round, right? We end when we imagine that breath going from the right side to the left holding just a little bit, holding the breath out. And then returning to the natural breath and noticing how the body feels. It has anything shifted. When we bring our focus to the breath, the mind can't be spinning. Right? That's the real purpose of our yoga. And then lifting the gaze and letting the eyes open, bring the arms out to the side, begin to sweep the fingers out and up letting the head drop back if the neck's okay with that. And then flip the palms as we exhale, chin to chest, slowly let the hands float back down. And do that two more times, seated sun breaths. Inhale, rising up, big breath in. Exhale, release, 
Drop the chin to the chest. One more time, inhale, rising up. This time, interlace your fingers and release the palms away. Beautiful. Take another inhalation here. Get really long, wiggling to the left and the right, right? Coming out of the waist, let the shoulders relax away from the ears. Nice long spine. As we exhale, press the palms away, chin to chest, belly and round the spine. And then inhale, rising up and arch in the other direction. Lift the heart, drop the head. Two more times like that, seated cat and cow, just warming up the body. And inhale those arms back towards the sky. As we exhale, let the left hand find the mat and the right arm sweep up and over towards the left side. We'll take a little flow coming side to side. Beautiful, guys. And you take that stretch as deep as feels good in the body, right? Maybe you want to stay up. Maybe you want to bend those elbows. Maybe you want to take the arm across the butt, right? This is your practice. The next time that the left hand finds the mat and the right arm is up and overhead, pause here. Take the fingers to, to the back of the head and then take the shoulder on an inhale, leading with the elbow, right? Put the elbow to the space behind you, lift the shoulders up and back and look at the sky. As we exhale, drop that elbow and turn the entire torso, look down at the mat. And two more times like that, inhale coming up, so now the torso is rotating. One more time, reach that right elbow up towards the sky. And as we exhale, let the entire body turn and look towards the mat. Sweep that right arm back up to the sky. Big breath in. And as we exhale, let the right hand find the mat. Inhale, left arm up and over. Take that stretch. Make sure the left hip keeps pressing into the mat. Take the fingers to the base of the skull, that little ridge. And as we inhale, that left elbow leads the way. We look up and bring the elbow to the space behind us. As we exhale, rotate nice long spine. Drop that elbow down. Look down at your mat. And two more times like that. So as we breathe, we open. As we exhale, closing. Imagine a flower, right? Opening to the dawn and then closing its petals at night. The next time we inhale, sweep that left arm up towards the sky. And as we exhale, let that hand float back down, bringing the body back up. Take the arms out to the side. It open up, lift the heart. And as we exhale, take the right arm and cross it under the left and give yourself a hug. So this is eagle arms. We'll be moving into full eagle, eagle pose in a little bit. It's a balancing posture. I just want to review the arms before we get there. Perfect place. Take that hug, stacking one elbow on top of the other. From here, if you want to take it deeper, the back of the hands move towards each other, or you go for that double wrap. So we're reaching for the left thumb with the right hand. If the shoulders are tight, this isn't going to work. So we stay with the hug. Right? Wherever it is, just breathing, lifting the elbows off the chest. As we inhale, we open up, take a big breath, and this time it's the left arm that comes under the right. Find that hug, and then either stay with the hug, just stacking the elbows, lifting the arms, or bringing the back of the hands towards each other, or reaching for the right thumb. At some point, maybe those palms will even come together into prayer. Big breath in. Let's release those arms out to the side one more time. And as we exhale, bring the hands down and bring those legs out in front. And give them a little stretch. Take the toes down and then bring them up towards the sky. And then bend the knees and take the feet nice and wide. Bring the palms behind you and gently windshield wipe those knees side to side. So warming up the knees and the hips. Notice how they're feeling today. So it was warm out today. Right? It was, I think it was in the 50s. So... We don't have that with the joints and that cold weather. Let's let the arm come up and cross the body and come up the other way. And then dropping the knees over to the left, pause here. Extend that right leg out, press into the left palm and sweep the right fingers up. Stay here, right, if this is enough of a stretch. If you want a deeper stretch, lift those hips. And you want that left shoulder directly under the wrist, supporting the body, right? We're opening up the heart and the chest. And on an exhalation, maybe sweep those right fingertips back. 
breathing here. Take a big breath in. And if the hips are up on the exhale, let the hips come down, let the knees come up and over to the other side. Sweep left fingers up to the sky. Hang out here if this is enough. Otherwise, extending left leg out, press into right palm, lift the hips on an inhale. As we exhale, sweep those left fingers up and back. Breathing here. Big breath in. And as we exhale, let those hips come back down. And we're going to turn towards the left side of our mat and come to tabletop. If you have a block, it's a really nice option for the lunges. If not, no worries. Before we get to our lunge, we'll warm up with some cat and cow. So press the palms into the mat, spread the fingers nice and wide. And then see where the hands want to be. Maybe walk them up a little bit or out so that the wrists are happy. And drop the belly, lift the gaze, and look up. And as we exhale, arch the spine, chin to chest, round like a Halloween cat. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. And exhale, press into the mat and round the spine into cat. And a few more rounds like that, just following your breath. If it feels really good at any point to stay in the stretch, maybe take an extra breath there. Find a little wiggle side to side. And then come on back to tabletop and take your right foot and just bring it up to the front of the mat. So hands can be on either side where you can take those blocks. That's where the blocks are really nice. I'm mirroring you guys, so I'll switch to my other side so you can see. And from here, lift the heart and look up. We're pressing that back foot into the mat. And on an exhalation, simply straighten that right leg and uh, slide the hips back into a runner's lunge. Maybe lift the toes, right? So the body is lengthening over that leg. And then inhale, bending the knee, lifting the heart, looking up. And as we exhale, Lengthen that leg. So watch the knees here. Never, ever any pain or sharp sensation, right? You want to be gentle with those joints. Nothing should hurt. And the next time that we straighten that leg and come into the runner's lunge, just pause. Right? You can have the blocks and be nice and high. If you don't have those blocks, the hands can come to the thigh. Or if you want a deeper stretch, come over that leg and breathe big breath in and as we exhale bend the knee stack the knee over the ankle press into the back foot and sweep the arms above the head coming into a kneeling lunge relax the shoulders but bending the elbows out to the side and finding goddess arms and take two deep breaths here with every inhale getting a little taller right tuck the tail so we don't have so much of a curve in that lower back and on the next exhalation, bring the hands down to the mat. One more time, straighten that right leg, lifting the toes, finding runner's lunge. And then bend the right knee, bring it back towards the left. So we're back in tabletop and switch to the other side. So now the left foot comes up to the top of the mat. Maybe we have our blocks. Maybe the hands are on the thighs, right? A, staying lifted instead of down and we'll start that little pulsing right lengthening that leg maybe lifting the toes shifting the hips back and as we inhale we bend the knee lift the heart lift the gaze and a few times like that just coming in and out of the lunge so it's a really nice stretch for the hips and also the psoas muscle right that front we sit too much. Everybody's working from home. And the next time we extend that left leg, coming into runner's lunge, pause here. Maybe take the toes up towards the sky. As you exhale, fold a little further over that leg. Feel that stretch down the back. And then inhale, bending that knee, lining the knee over the ankle. Press into that back foot. Sweep the arms above the head finding a kneeling lunge. As we exhale, elbows bend, relaxing the shoulders. We find goddess arms, 
Really press into the feet, both feet, right? That left foot in the front and then the, the back foot helps keep us lifted. Take one more deep breath here. And as we exhale, bring the hands down to the mat, lengthen that front leg, and then bring the knee right back. So it's next to the right one, hands back down to the mat, shift the hips, child's pose, take a breath. From here, rocking back into table, and your choice, either coming to stand or tucking the toes and lifting the hips, coming into downward facing dog. So if down dog doesn't work, just come to stand in the middle of the mat, right, facing towards the front. Otherwise, bend the knees and straighten the legs and take that side to side, right? Press one heel down to the mat as the opposite knee bends. Just kind of walk the legs out, let the head drop, give it a shake, yes and no. And then walk the hands towards the feet and the feet towards the hands so you meet right in the middle of the mat. Bend the knees, opposite hands to elbows, drop the head, finding ragdoll pose. Maybe it feels good to do a little rock and roll from side to side. And then bring the palms to the thighs. Start to press the hands into the legs, leading with the head and the heart, bringing the body up to stand. And then turn towards that long end of the mat. Take the shoulders and roll them up and down and back. Take a few shoulder rolls. And then let's do a little release for the wrists because we were on the wrists. So interlace your fingers and lift the elbows towards each other and just make some circles here. Circling in one direction, circling the other. And then take the elbows out to the side, interlacing the fingers like we're trying to pull the hands apart, but resist. That's a really good stretch for those wrists. And then flip the palms, take the thumbs down and do that one more time. Beautiful. Okay, let's shake that out. Let's prepare for our standing practice by taking the right foot and bringing it behind you, maybe pressing down if that's okay. So we stretch out the front of the ankle, wiggling from the big toe to the pinky toe, making little circles and bringing the right foot back and taking the left foot. So toenails down on the mat, give a little stretch and then see if it feels good to wiggle. And come on back to center. So taking the feet hip width apart, hands to the hips, do a little bend to the knees and straighten. And then take your tailbone and tuck it down, right? Pull the belly in, roll the shoulders up, down and back, and turn the palms either forward or facing the thighs. Get really tall and find our mountain pose. Right? Pressing into the feet, that engagement in the thighs, nice long spine. As we inhale, sweep the arms above the head. As we exhale, find a soft bend to the knees and a forward fold. Slide the palms to the shins or the thighs, do a half lift and look up, and exhale, come back down. Bending the knees, sweep the arms out to the side as we press the floor away, rising up. Hands meet in prayer above the head. Exhale, hands to heart. Sun breaths. Let's do three like that. Inhale, rising. Exhale, take that forward fold. Find that half lift and length. And exhale, surrender down. Sweep the arms as we rise. Big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart. One more time like that. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, letting it go. Find that half lift in the long spine. Beautiful. Exhale, come on down. Sweep those arms out as we rise. Hands in prayer. Exhale, down to the heart. And now sweep those arms back up, hands together. And release the right hands to the hip. And take the hips to the left and reach the left arm over to the right, coming into quarter moon pose. Inhale up through center and switch, left hand to hip, right arm up and over, quarter moon to the other side. If that feels really good supporting the back, do that one more time. Otherwise, interlace the arms above the head, 
fingers, <laughs> release the point across the thumb and take the hips to the left and reach up and over to the right. Press into the feet. See if it would feel okay to walk the feet together, squeezing the legs. And right? if that's too much on the lower back, put some space there. Take a breath, get a little bit longer on the inhale. And as you exhale, where can you release? What can you let go? Ardhachandras in half moon pose. Inhale up through center. And as we exhale, take it up and over to the other side. Using that left hand to gently coax the right arm up and over. Shoulders are stacked. The chest is facing the front. And we're breathing. Deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. Inhale up to center. As we exhale, just let the arms come out to the side. We're going to come into that eagle pose, but add the legs. So wiggle the right fingers and wiggle the left. And we're going to start by crossing the right under the left and finding that hug. And stay with the hug if wrapping the arms just creates tension. Right? If you want to get that shoulder stretch, you want to wrap the arms, then you could try that too. Then bend the knees and take a seat. So we bend the knees to soften the hips. And then from here, the right leg crosses over the left. So toes rest on the ground and the knees are squeezing towards each other. We're just like sitting in an imaginary chair. If you wanna take this a little bit further into a balance, we pick that right foot up, squeeze the legs, and eventually the toes wrap around the left calf. So that's a big if. Right? <laughs> Otherwise, keep those toes resting on the mat for balance. Take a big breath in. As we exhale, do a little bow. Right? Just bowing forward. And then inhale, rising back up. You might want to drop the toes on the mat for that one. So bowing, eagle. And inhale, rising. One more time, bowing. And then come on back up. Sit a little bit deeper. Lining the elbows over the knees. Can we breathe here? And can you be okay with whatever is happening in the body? Let's release with a big breath in. Take the arms above the head, uncross the legs, and just exhale the hands down alongside the body just for a moment. Drop the chin down towards the chest and process that, right? Was there judgment? Was there irritation? Was there excitement right what was present and then can you just let that go right and go back to the breath take a big breath open the arms and this time it's the left that crosses under the right start with the hug maybe stay with the hug bend the knees and find that seat left leg crosses over the right right drop the toes on the floor and hang out here just working the joints, right? Squeezing everything together down the midline of the body. If you want to play with the balance, see if you can lift those left toes off the mat. They don't have to wrap, right? You can just point them in the direction you want them to go someday. And then on an exhale, do a little bow forward. And as we inhale, we rise back up. And two more times like that. Notice the core when we come into that bowing eagle. And it takes a lot to hold everything down the midline. Coming back up, take a big breath, unwrapping everything. And one more time, exhale, just let those arms ah, come down alongside the body. Close the eyes. What are you feeling? A little heat, a little energy, <clears throat> right? Whatever it is, can we breathe? Can we watch? Can we relax and feel and just allow right, the thoughts like little clouds passing by, non-attachment, right? Opening the eyes, bring the arms above the head, big breath in. As we exhale, take the arms out to the side, T position, and step the feet out nice and wide. Moving right into our warrior sequence. Take the left toes towards the left and kick that right heel in about 45 degrees. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And then put a little bend into that left knee and then come on back up and do that a couple of times. Just checking out that knee. 
Make sure it never crosses the ankle. I press into the pinky side of that back foot and then see if we can get a little higher out of the waist. Gaze over left fingertips, finding our warrior two pose. Strong warrior arms. Let's take the fingertips up towards the sky and press the palms away, getting that beautiful stretch to the wrists. And as we exhale, take the fingertips down and then find reaching to the left, reaching to the right, our warrior pose. Gaze over left fingers and flip the left palm. As we inhale, left arm reaches up, right hand drops. Make sure that knee stays bent as we reach those left fingers as far away from that bent left knee, coming up and over into a beautiful, peaceful warrior. Exhale, let those arms flow back down to warrior two. Bring the hands to the hips and straighten the front leg. Extend the arms back out and let's reverse our triangle. So left fingers reach up as the right hand reaches down, straight legs. And then come on back T position and reach, reach, reach through the left fingers preparing for triangle pose. As we exhale, left hand floats down, right hand to the hip, turn that shoulder up towards the sky, maybe reach right fingers up. So just make sure that left hand isn't on the knee, putting pressure on the knee. It could be on the thigh, calf, shin, ankle block. Breathing here. As we exhale, sweep those right fingers down towards the mat, rotating the torso. Inhale, rising back up to triangle. And two more times like that. Finding the length on the inhalation. And then holding the next time that arm comes up. Let that right hand bring you back up and bend into that left knee. Preparing for extended side angle. Just dropping the left forearm to the thigh and sweeping right arm up and over. Beautiful. Breathing here, reaching one line of energy. Take a big breath in. And with the next inhalation, bring you up. Bring the hands to the hips and turn the toes to face forward, the long end of the mat. Sweep the arms above the head. Take a big breath in. And as we exhale, we fold forward. So if the fingertips don't reach, find that block. And then start to walk the hands out, coming into a wide leg extended downward facing dog. Let the head drop right between the arms and take a big breath in. And then walk the hands back just under the face. Again, if the fingertips are far away from the mat, you have that block to extend the body. Left hand stays just under the face. Inhale, right arm reaches up and we find a twist as we turn towards the right. Big breath in, and as we exhale, the right hand floats down, replaces the left just under the face, and we inhale, left arm up, and we turn and look towards the left. Big breath in. Exhale, letting that left hand come down. And the next inhalation sweeps the arms out to the side. We rise back up, hands meet above the head. As we exhale, come on down. Shoulder height, turn the right toes to the right, bend into the right knee, and then straighten and bend. Do that a couple of times, preparing for our warrior two on the other side. And then finding your warrior, right? That leg can be almost straight, just never knee crossing the ankle, and gaze over right fingertips. Let's do that stretch again. Take the fingertips up towards the sky, press the walls away. Big breath in, open the heart. As we exhale, take the fingertips down. And then come on back, reaching left, reaching right, gazing over right fingers, warrior two. Flip that right palm, inhale, right arm up, left hand drops, peaceful warrior. Take another breath, maybe get a little more length in that right side body. As we exhale, can everything release? And coming back up through center, straightening the right leg. 
Let's flip that right palm and move into a reverse triangle. Right arm up, left hands reaching down, breathing. Feel that stretch as we reach in opposite directions. And on an exhale, reach that right arm all the way, all the way out to the right. When we can't reach anymore, let it come down. And as we inhale, sweep left fingers up to the sky, finding triangle pose. Take a big breath here. Exhale, sweep the left fingers down towards the right foot, looking down at your mat. Inhale, rising back up. And two more times like that. Then inhale, lifting through the left fingers. Let that lift you all the way back up. Arms come out. We re-bend that right knee and set up for our extended side angle. Right forearm just on the inside of the thigh, left arm up and over. One line of energy, watch the shoulders. It's not up by the ears, right? The heart is open, facing the front of your screen, and we're breathing. Let's inhale to rise back up, bring the hands to the hips, and bring the feet a little bit closer. We're going to turn towards the left side of the mat. For warrior one and stargazer. So take the hands to the hips and square the hips towards that short end of the mat. Make sure the feet are wide enough so when you bend that front knee, it doesn't cross over. But it's a shorter stance than our warrior two. And watch that back knee, no crunching of the knee. If this is uncomfortable, come up on the ball of the foot. And then sweep the arms above the head. Finding our warrior one pose. It's a little bit of a back bend. Right? We press into the feet. We lift the heart and we drop the head. Breathing here. On an exhalation, bend the elbows coming into goddess arms. Straighten that leg. Take a big breath in. And then reverse. Reach up. Bend the knee. And then find a little pulsing with your breath. And then settling back into our warrior one pose. Straighten that front leg, let the hands come behind, interlace the fingers and take the knuckles towards the opposite end of the mat. Shoulder blades come down towards each other. Imagine we're splitting the mat apart with our feet. Lift the heart, drop the head, stargaze. Big breath in, feel the way the breath moves across the chest. Right, when the heart is open like this. And then rise back up and hold on to either opposite elbows or forearms. Bring the forearms into the lower back. Lift the heart. And then straight legs flat back. Just fold over that front leg nice and slow. Feeling the sensation of the stretch go down that leg. Inhale to rise up and keep the hands exactly where they are. Just pivot and turn to the opposite side of the mat. Pressing the feet into the mat. This time starting with that Parsvottanasana straight legs. Folding over the front leg, breathing here. Really press the feet into the mat. Nice long spine, soften the gaze, relax the jaw. Inhale to rise, straight legs, interlace the fingers, take the knuckles down and back, shoulder blades kiss as we lift the heart and drop the head. Stargazer pose. With every exhale, can you relax just a little bit more? Inhale to rise and put a bend into that front leg, maybe extend the back leg a little bit so that we're not crossing. Right, square the hips, inhale, arms up, finding our warrior one pose. So imagine we're holding something between the thighs, like a big beach ball that we're squeezing. At the same time, pressing the feet into the mat. And then taking a breath and bending the elbows and straightening the legs. And as we exhale, reach the arms up and bend the knee and do that two more times. Just coming in and out, really similar to our lunge that we started in the beginning of class and then holding here 
in our warrior one. Inhale to rise up and just walk that front foot back to meet the back foot standing at the back of the mat. One more balance coming into a warrior three. Sweep the arms overhead and take a big step on the right foot. Reaching the fingers, come up on the left toes and maybe hang out here, right? Beautiful, beautiful balance right here with the toes still resting on the mat. If you wanna play with taking this deeper, start to lift that back leg, letting the arms lower. But imagine that you're like a, a piece of wood, right? So as we're lifting the leg, the arms go down. We don't wanna collapse in the middle. So this is balancing staff. Breathing here. As we inhale, we gently rise back up, step that front foot back, let the arms float down just for a moment. And then inhale the arms back up, this time big step on the left foot, up on the right toes. Pause here, stay here if that's what feels right tonight for the body. Or as we exhale, pressing into that big toe and as we lift that back leg, the arms reach forward, squaring the hips, being okay with any coming out of it or falling out of it, right? If we fall, whoop, the mat's right here. No biggie, we come back up. That's why we call this a practice. Taking two more breaths wherever you are. And as we inhale, we rise back up. As we exhale, we let those hands come back down. So let's come on back down to the mat. Find your strap and my goodness, time flies. We're gonna come on to our backs, taking the strap with us for a little leg stretching, bridge, and maybe a little bit of abdominal work. So let's come on down nice and slow. And once you're on the back, hug the knees into the chest. I'll try to make my cueing clear so you don't have to look at the screen. And just hugging the knees, rocking a little bit side to side, massaging the lower back. And then bring the feet down as wide as the mat, the knees are bent. Let the arms come out to the side in a T position and gently wind show wipe those knees from side to side. Let's come on back through center and hug the right knee in. Let the left leg just release onto the mat, pulling that right knee towards the armpit or shoulder. Toes are up towards the sky on both feet. That left foot is pressing into an imaginary wall. So both legs are engaged, coming into wind liberating pose. Take another deep breath here. And as you exhale, hug that right leg a little bit closer. Then release the right toes up towards the sky and let the arms come back out T position and start to slowly lower the right leg down. Press the lower back into the mat. When the lower back wants to arch up, you rebend the knee and pull that leg back in. So like a water wheel, right? Just lowering the leg just to the point where that back wants to release from the mat. We wanna keep pressing down, just circling a little bit. And the next time we lower the right leg, let it come all the way down to the mat. Take a big breath in and hug the left knee in. You can hold behind the knee, just below the knee, pulling the knee towards the armpit or shoulder, press the right foot away and the toes on both feet are pressing up towards the sky. Big breath in, feeling this little pinch on the left side, right, never pain. Just a little compression. And then on the next exhale, 
those left toes come up towards the sky. We straighten the leg, arms come out to the side. And we start to lower the left leg, keep pressing the lower back into the mat. When the lower back wants to release off the mat, just rebend the knee, hug the knee in, and finally circles with the left leg. Just a couple of little circles here. This is called water wheel. And you can be grateful that I'm not doing both legs at the same time, right? <laughs> Next time that we lower the left leg down, let it come all the way to the mat. Take a breath and hug both knees into the chest. One more time, a little rock and roll side to side. And then let the feet come down to the mat. The knees are bent, arms alongside the body. We're going to just press the palms and the forearms and the feet into the mat. Big breath in and start to lift the hips up. And as we exhale, let them lower back down to the mat. And find a floating bridge, inhaling the hips up. And slowly exhaling the hips back down. And see if you want to stay with the floating bridge. Or the next time the hips come up, maybe pausing in at bridge pose, pressing into the feet, pressing the palms and forearms into the mat, maybe rolling onto the shoulders and bringing the fingers together, interlacing them beneath you. So it's the same hands and shoulders that we do in star gazer. And just holding here in that bridge pose for three breaths, right? Lowering down whenever we need to, but seeing if we can create that heat and just stay in the pose for another breath. And when we do come out nice and slow, coming one vertebra at a time. And then take the feet as wide as the mat, let the knees rest on each other, the thighs resting on each other. And find that hug, just bringing the hands to the shoulders, opposite hands to the shoulders, drop the chin to the chest and take a few breaths here in that constructive rest pose. And then find your strap and bring your strap to the ball of the right foot. And let the arms be relaxed here and start to bend the right knee and then straighten the leg using the strap for a little bit of resistance. Left knee can be bent and the foot on the floor. Or you can extend that leg out. <clears throat> and then extend the right leg and start to make some circles. And just circling the leg in one direction. These can be really little circles or they can be very large, whatever feels right in the body. A circle the other way. Make sure we're breathing, right? Deep, deep breaths here. And then take the strap in the right hand, take a big breath and drop that right leg all the way over to the right side. Keep the left hand on the hip, keep that hip from popping up. Maybe extend the left arm out, palm down. Both shoulders are pressing into the mat. And with every exhale, see if we can relax that right side just a tiny bit more. Let the breath become deep. Notice all the spaces that the breath fills in the torso and how easy it is to breathe when we're open like this. On the next exhale, bring that right leg up, take the strap in the left hand, let's cross the body and find a twist. Right arm extends out, gaze over right shoulder, and continue with the deep breaths, but notice the pattern of the breath here. As it comes into that twist, there's a little bit of a constriction, and then it cascades out and up and over the chest, just becoming aware of the breath. One more deep breath in. And then inhaling that right leg up, taking the foot out of the strap and slowly lowering the leg down, just placing right next to left. Close the eyes, let the arms relax and sense that right side. 
sense the left side and see if you feel a difference, right? You might feel like that right leg is a little bit longer. Let's take the left foot into the strap and start with the bending and straightening of that left leg. And making circles. They can be little circles circling in one direction. Start to let the circles get a little bit bigger. And then circle the other way. So releasing that left hip, the left hamstring, and making sure the breath is deep. Let's take that strap. In the left hand, big breath in as we exhale, drop that leg all the way out to the left side. Right hand can rest on the hip or extend out, palm down. Maybe the gaze turns over the right shoulder. And one more time, just notice the breath, how it moves in the body when it's open like this. Let the breath lead the posture, right, as we inhale. Filling the torso with breath as we exhale, can we send a little space into that left side, creating a little more room, a little more relaxation. One more big breath here. And as we exhale, lift that left leg up, take the strap in the right hand, let's cross all the way across the body. Left arm extends out, palm down, maybe we gaze over the left shoulder as we come into that twist. Breathing in, noticing the breath. When we're in the twist, all those little places where maybe it gets stuck. One more deep breath in. And as we exhale, taking that leg back through center, removing the strap, and then hugging both knees into the chest. Let's bring the legs all the way up, straighten the legs, toes pointing towards the sky, separate the legs in a wide V, bend the knees, and then grab the inside or outside of the feet, maybe the big toes, and find happy baby. A gentle rock from side to side. Just noticing how that feels. Would it feel better to have a static stretch or maybe bend one? knee and straighten the opposite leg and then see if there's any other movement that the body is looking for before we come into our relaxation so we didn't do pigeon maybe you're craving a pigeon pose or another twist or maybe you're ready to relax i'll watch the screen and when i see you guys start to settle down i'll bring us into our relaxation the most important part of the class, right? The entire class is leading up to this part. The real purpose of yoga is to still the mind. And we do that by focusing on the breath and the movement in the body so that we can come to rest in our relaxation. Yeah, dimming the lights, if that's a possibility. If not, maybe placing a, an eye pillow or even that strap over the eyes. And then finding a position where the body can just let go. Relaxing here. Breathing deep. Come back to the inhalations and the exhalations. And let that be the focus. Notice all the places where the body is touching. So the lips, upper lip, bottom lip touching, the eyelids touching. And can we soften? Maybe even make some space between the lips, relaxing the jaw. And notice where the body is touching the floor beneath you. Maybe the back of the head and the shoulder blades, the hips. Can you soften into the support beneath you? 
and then let those little spaces in between relax and let go. Bringing your attention to the belly and breathing deep into the belly. And as you exhale, relaxing all the muscles of the belly and letting that become a ripple effect that travels down towards the feet and up towards the crown of the head. And breathing here, begin to relax the entire body. Shoulders and shoulder blades, arms, elbows, wrists, hands, all 10 fingers, the legs, the upper legs and the knees, lower legs and the ankles and the feet and all 10 toes. Can you relax the back of the head, the scalp, and the forehead, the little space between the eyebrows, the little corners of the eyes and the eyelids. Relaxing the cheeks and the space around the nostrils. Separate the back teeth Relax the tongue and let the jaw go. Let the face be expressionless and completely at peace. And then let that relaxation travel. The throat, the neck, cascading down the torso, the shoulders, the upper back, the chest, the middle back and waist, the belly and lower back. And as you inhale, feeling the back body separating from the front body. As you exhale, feeling everything coming back down towards each other. Relaxing even deeper on every exhalation the hips, the seat muscles, and the pelvis. And just for a few moments, absolutely nowhere to go and nothing to do except breathe. The body breathing the breath and the breath breathing the body. And remembering that right here, right now, in that next breath, we have everything we could possibly need. So breathing in peacefulness and exhaling anything that doesn't serve you. Breathing in love and compassion and exhaling fear. Is it faith or fear? that rises to the fore, affirmation or negation at the very core and center of the self. Will it be light or dark within the heart today? The icy grip of fear that knots and sours, leaving me to cower in the shadows. There is another way. I know it surely as I know the scent of spring. The choice of faith invites, invokes, calls forth, from all creation, both the blessing and the lesson of the day. Whether faith or fear, the choice is mine alone. Each moment choosing, stepping through the door, trusting that the path beyond will surely lead me home. So remembering that our outer world is just a reflection of our inner world. And every moment we have that choice to act with faith or fear, with love or anger. And remembering that the darkness is simply an absence of light. So we can turn on our light 
and light the way for others. Begin to breathe deeply into the body, bringing some movement, maybe wiggling fingers and toes, rocking the head side to side, big stretch like we're just waking up, and then rolling to one side and finding your way into a fetal position. And just taking note of the effect of the practice on the body tonight, on the breath, on the thoughts. Right? If maybe something shifted, a little more space, maybe the breath is a little freer, the mind a little calmer, whatever it is, thank yourself for making the time. And then coming to any comfortable seat to close out the class, joining the palms at the heart, either hands in prayer or one hand on top of the other, and bowing the head to the heart. Taking this peacefulness we've created, do not leave it on your mat. Take it with you. Take it into tomorrow and your weekend. Right? And remembering that there is a divine light in each and every one of us. And when we come to that place where we recognize that light, we are one. Namaste. Thank you, guys. If you can unmute. Thank you, Nina. That was uh, great. Great, Nina. That was a good well, workout. A little bit, right? <laughs> so, so, relaxed. so much for coming. It's so good to see you guys. Everybody okay? Hang in there? Yeah. Everybody. By the yeah. knuckles. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Good class. Thank you. Thank, yes. thank you, Nina. Thank you. Good night, ladies. Nice night. Thank you, Nina. Everybody thank you, as thank always, you. Nina. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Be safe. Yes. Saturday, 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 yes. Yes, okay. Saturday at 10, if you want to. Anybody who's available. And, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.